welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Ozo Dad to Chic I hope you do subscribe like this video and share it if you liked it this video is exciting because it's a massive haul that I've been dying to do but haven't had the space to do it until I moved in and of course for the first week this place was a mess it's still a mess I just cleaned the background behind me so it could look clean a little bit but I promise you it's a mess all around me but I know you guys like to toss I'm joking but no I know you guys want to know what I'm wearing in this video so I am going to share it quickly with you I don't want you guys to wait I don't want you guys you know to find the time to ask me I want you to focus on the video so I'm gonna share with you my lip combo I've been loving this look so I line my lips with max spice lip liner and then I go around the perimeter of my lips and do chestnut the darker one so that's kind of like give me this look typically I add a gloss on top but I forgot for my makeup it's kind of like new things that I've been using not necessarily new things different things that I've been using so I will do a video on that watch micro cores I always get so many questions about my watch MK micro cores I've had it for like a decade I just get my battery replaced at Macy's if you didn't know if you go on the eighth floor you can actually replace the battery on your watches and other things I think I don't know what else they do both of my rings are from Majuri there will be a link below where you can check them out those two together and then this one is from Havel I do have a 15% code if you do want to check this one out as well something is about to fall so I have to fix it and then bracelet is from Majuri as well and then this necklace it's a citrine necklace it's not my birthstone or anything like that I just thought I would go for the citrine this is from Taylor plus Zell and this blazer which is a very famous blazer from Zara but then again this blazer is so well made like you would honestly think it's from Shanene and then underneath I look like a joke it's kind of like business on top and then <laughs> I was gonna say ho on the bottom but then again I'm just like that's not even you like why would you even say that um casual on the bottom because I'm literally just wearing my skims shorts and they're like the skin color i actually just went out to sign for a package i'm pretty sure the guys thought i was naked he probably thought i only just had this on until he actually looked closely and see that actually i'm wearing some shorts it's been a month now since i've moved back from mexico city to new york city and before i left for mexico city from new york or jersey i sold about 80 percent of my wardrobe so i only had about like 20 percent left which I kind of like took with me. I'm pretty sure it was less than that to be quite honest. And a lot of the stuff that I got rid of was a lot of my winter stuff. So I still had a little few pieces, but I got rid with most of my winter stuff. Although Mexico City, it's not, you know, hot per se, but um, I could still get away with wearing, you know, more things for kind of like a little bit warmer weather, but you know, not really. You can still wear your clothes right now. It's kind of like winter there. It's like in the 50s. And things like that but again during the day it gets in the like you know the 70s so it's still warm enough where a lot of my cold cold clothing I didn't really need I got rid of like literally all my coats everything but um and then you're probably wondering do you miss it do you regret it I don't regret it at all um you know whenever I get rid of things I'm excited for the next things that are gonna be in my life because I'm like oh it's going to be even better I don't know obviously when i moved back i started shopping for like winter stuff and some other stuff and then also i thought you know what i'm gonna take my style to the next level there was a period of time where i was kind of like experimenting with my style but you know i was still like a relatively like small blogger i mean i'm still a small blogger but you know but now i just feel like you know what i want to go back to those days when I was just wearing kind of like experimenting things with things wearing whatever I want not to say that I have not been wearing whatever I wanted I've been wearing whatever I wanted but over the last couple of years I've just mainly focused on having a more feminine wardrobe which I absolutely love and honestly I think that helped me cultivate a feminine mindset more now that I am more into my femininity I'm at the point where it's just like it doesn't matter what I'm wearing anymore um, which I should probably do a video about that you know you probably thinking this intro is like super long but yeah <laughs> apologies for that but yeah i'm at the point where um because i've cultivated that it's kind of like almost kind of like in me now so 
I don't need my wardrobe to kind of like reflect that because it doesn't matter what I'm wearing I'm still going to kind of like you know relay that in a way so Aritzia it's one of the brand that I started shopping at in other story used to be that kind of like higher end version but then again the quality is absolutely amazing in other story is you know the sister to H&M but the better quality and I feel like lately another story has not been doing it for me I just feel like they're not innovative with the design they haven't really been doing anything that I am liking I'm not finding anything that's suiting me and I just thought you know what let me go to Aritzia and actually see what they're about and um, I wanted some nice pair of high waist not really high waist but wide leg pants you guys know I'm always on the hunt for like the perfect you know white leg pant and when I was unpacking last night all I was seeing was you know white leg pant I was just like oh my god I have so many but then again all of them have different purposes there's one where I love that you know it's super long it kind of like train on the floor I have a certain idea and style to wear for that one I have another one that's a little bit silky I have one that's linen for the summertime so I have different kind and I feel like this one is more kind of like an everyday type although I feel like Aritzia it's overpriced for the quality that you get this was like 150 bucks for these pins I feel like this could have easily been like $89 I feel like there's no reason because especially you have like thread coming out of the pin and I feel like the fabric it's not even that great of a quality for them to charge that kind of money but again the girls love it so i guess right um so this is called the wilfred pant and in a size i picked out a size four and i found that this one fit me perfectly i wore this one to that vlog when i went to an event at mizen's year and i absolutely love the length i love that it's not like you know too long i feel like it fits perfectly to just wear with some heels and you're good to go so that's as much i'm going to say about this now let's move on so i went to buy the bodysuit i don't know who i saw in this bodysuit and also because i'm gonna be wearing a lot more blazers i feel like i need like a bodysuit to actually wear underneath you know with all my pants and everything like that I hate that this one doesn't have the clip but I could probably just cut it and then add a clip myself but that's too much work I'm not gonna do that so I ended up going for the white now I'm just thinking I should have gone for the cream color because it's really hard to find white leg pants in like white 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 this is the Babbitton and I got a size small for this one and again um, this was $48 again I feel like this could have been $30 but it is what it is um, I wish H&M would actually make more bodysuit like this one and um, now I want this one in every color I would say though the quality for their bodysuits are like amazing I highly highly recommend so I guess it's worth the 50 bucks but it's still a stretch but still um, so I actually want this in like every color I want to get it in the nude I want to get this in the black I also want to get it in the cream and I also got this kind of like high top like I went for the pin and then the girl was just like this is one of my favorite top I think you should try it on and I'm just like okay whatever I didn't say that sometimes guys I exaggerate you know I'm just being sarcastic like I was obviously I was like super happy that she's like okay maybe she has something in mind and then she brought me the top I was like yeah and now I have to buy the top too so I ended up buying the pin and the top at the same time um, this is still also the Babbitton line I don't even know how these things work with Aritzia this is a sculpt knit racer and my goodness this one is absolutely stunning also I got it in the white I did have the cream but for some reason I feel like the white goes really well with the pin and I feel like you pop on a blazer over this and my goodness you are looking like a million dollar babe and also this one I needed in every color this is a size medium um and i think it fits me really really well it's you know fit really nice to the body it may look so tiny but it does kind of like cover my huge boobs and stuff like that but yeah this is absolutely stunning this is what I now let's move on to asos at asos i wanted some kind of like everyday sweater dresses to kind of like pop on when i need to run errands especially sometimes it's just been crazy crazy like cold and then the easiest way for me to get ready when I'm running errands is actually to pop on a sweater dress, pop on a boot, and I am out of the house. In the past, I've always kind of like bought 
sweater dresses with like the high neck and i just feel like they kind of like make you look a little bit like too old nothing wrong with being old i just feel like that look it's not like aesthetic not necessarily pleasing it's not as flattering you know we want things a little bit more modern and one of the best neckline for you know big chested ladies are like square when i saw asos has this in a square neckline i just ordered two of them and i've literally been wearing them like every day i just alternate between them and what i love about these they're like so dressy i wear them to dinner i wear them everywhere everywhere every time i'm running errands just going downstairs or anything i just pop on the um the camel color and then for more kind of like going out or you know doing something a bit more um dressy then i pop on this cream color and then i also have this kind of like whoop coat that kind of goes really really well and what i love it has the slit on the side and then i be sure to like wear them with my skims i have a skims with like the one leg the one with the one leg cut out so i typically wear it with this one because this one has a slit and then i made sure to pick the one with the left side cut off because typically the side that my slits are on is usually my left side so i am obsessed with the sweater dresses i actually want to order more but then again you know it's a bad habit of me of just all, always ordering so many of kind of like the same thing but this year we're not gonna do that okay i feel like two is enough although like i also got because it was around the time where i thought i was gonna go to miami um we were supposed to take a trip to miami him and i and a friend and, you know it was gonna be like a couple's trip and then things like that but i did not end up going um had too much going on so because my stuff were still in mexico city like all my um, I still had like four suitcases left in Mexico City. Sandra just bought me two, which I picked up from her last night. So now I have my bathing suit and things like that. But most of my summer stuff was still in Mexico. I only got the thing that were like the most important. So I was, you know, browsing the website looking for at least one bathing suit to have for the trip. And then I, in, I landed in this one. I love ASOS. I even made a video about where to find bras for big chested ladies and ASOS is one place that I always shop at until I find a new spot, which I'm about to share in a minute, but stay tuned for that. So when I saw this kind of like cute little bra bathing suit, I had to jump on it, my goodness. Um, and I really, really love the fit on this. Um, this is a 32i, I am a 32h um typically i like to go bigger again more space but um but yeah how cute is this little bar and then of course it doesn't have padding obviously because we need the space and then i got the underwear which i got a size four now i wish i would gotten a size two i always forget that my bottom is like so tiny it's the same thing with underwear i always order a size small and then next thing you know they're falling off of me i'm just like oh, you should have gotten extra small happens to me all the time next thing is going to be this coat that i got from mango this is kind of like a faux fur coat um because i thought you know what i'm gonna be going out you know on my dinner dates and all that stuff and black is one thing that i'm incorporating a little bit more in my wardrobe this year you guys know i am not a black wearer but this year i've decided you know what i'm gonna wear a lot more black so i thought i would go for this coat um and also because i don't have any black coat and then also something that's a little bit shorter because sometimes i feel for certain dresses you want a coat that's a little bit short you don't want a coat that's too long and i feel like this coat kind of like fit this category like i can wear this and i feel like it's such a great length you know right above my knees a little bit it's perfect it's giving me that you know which is vibes i love it it oh it's so so cozy i love this coat so much i just think it's just like so chic um this is from mango by the way it was on sale i got a size this is a size small guys i am making progress i'm actually like buying things my size like can you believe it so when i had brunch with my lovely friend tatiana she came out with this coat looking like a million dollar babe i was just like sweetheart where is this coat from and then i got home as soon as i got home i was on the interweb looking for this coat 
thankfully I found it on sale it was still very expensive I think I still paid over $300 for it um, or maybe just about 300 because it was on sale um, typically it was like 540 or something like that close to 600 bucks but it was worth every penny this is like a robe coat and this is one of the coats it's just like whenever you walk in it's just like people's gonna be looking at you and just be like hmm are you like supposed to be closing up at home in your robe or why do you look like a million bucks now from Parade, which is the brand that I've been loving for bras, is Parade. They reached out to me and actually sent me, um, you know, a gift, like a certain amount to actually pick something from the website. So I ended up picking this bra, which actually, it lo it's a little bralette. My goodness, changed my life. So comfortable. And then what I love about it, it has more support than the ones that I get from ASOS. Um, the thing, the one I like from ASOS, I love them because they're like sexy, it's lace, it's beautiful, you know. But then again, you can't really do much effort with them. You constantly have to like fix your boobs. This one, I still have to fix my boobs a little bit if I do like too much of a movement. It's going to move a little bit, but not as much. And it's just so comfortable. Um, so I've been obsessed with Parade. But yes, I picked this up from Parade because I wanted some just kind of like easy things to just wear when I'm in the house um, and things like that and this is just kind of like perfect I love my skim leggings but then again I don't really like things that are like you know tight on me which is why I prefer something like this that is like super lightweight I love 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 this one highly highly recommend and last night I actually wore this out I popped on my boots and like that H&M sweater and it looks so chic so highly highly recommend parade i also got an underwear and you know the skin color this is a small actually i think this one should fit me i was like no no this is extra small of course i have to pick extra small oh no it's just gonna be way too big so um i got this color as you can see i mean it's a darker brown but it's still gonna look super nude with white dresses certain things i think it's good to wear nude underwear because it doesn't show because black can actually pick through so and then i love these because they're kind of like seamless and you always look so good with them on um when you're wearing something especially if it's something tight and also if i have to wear my shapewear it's just easier to just hide. i saw this these shoes i wanted to have them because they look like art and i just feel like i don't really have as much fun stuff in my wardrobe i feel like most of my stuff is just like super classic and and here and there i'm just like you know what here and there it's good to have some like fun things i feel like this would just be perfect for la it's so funny i've never been into la before but all of a sudden i'm like hmm i want to go to la it's been over a decade since i've been i hated it but now i'm just like you know what i should probably go again and see how it is a decade later to see if i like it better but i know i don't like it so I bought these shoes to pair with that green dress that I actually tried on in one of um, on a vlog for you guys. I just felt like it ended up matching perfectly and also because I didn't see the other color. As soon as I saw this, I was just like, oh my god, I need these ASAP. And then I got them I, and I didn't like them as much. I felt like they looked way better on the website. And then um, they were on sale and of course anything that's on sale from Port Gaia, it's not returnable. I just bought them because they have this kind of like beautiful, I think those are like lilies um, on the heel as you can see over here. They are just a work of art. This is a work of art. Okay, now I have to do this TikTok. Yeah, now I have to do it. So yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was just like, oh, just ordered. And then I went back looking at all the stuff that was on sale and then I saw another color which was kind of like a like a pinkish, I think. But oh, I should have bought these instead, but I'm happy that I actually ended up for the green because i just feel like this year i want to include more green into my wardrobe and these are like the perfect starter and then also i just feel like anything with like ankle strap like this is just like so sexy on your leg like my goodness so these are from called gaia i don't know if they still have them if they do i will of course include the link if not then i'll just link the whole website and then from the net apport i saw this dress from called gaia and i had to have it it's actually a cover um it's described as a cover on the website but it's kind of like linen it's see-through what i love about it is see-through 
because I just feel like see-through things sometimes can give you an air of like sexiness. It's kind of like being sexy without you, you know, showing your entire body. That's how I like to do sexy. My sexy, it's not me like dressing half naked. I mean, nothing wrong with dressing half naked. If that's what you like, absolutely. But the way that I like to do sexy sometimes, it's to wear something a little bit see-through. Um, and just have like a little pick of my bra and underneath and things like that and also I'll be wearing a nude underwear where you won't be able to see anything but at the same time you know you can kind of see so as soon as I saw this dress I was like oh my god this would be perfect especially since my friend and I were thinking about you know going to like a resort for like a few days and just like enjoy yourselves and things like that so I was thinking this would be like perfect to wear at night time for like a dinner or I can just wear this with, you know, like my bathing suit underneath it as a cover, like it is. So I really, really love this one. This is the Trisha cover up. And it's an off-white color. And then also I can pair it with the shoes from, from Club Gaia as well. I think it will go perfectly. Next thing, do I need any more sleeper pajamas? No. But i bought another one because i love sleeper pajamas so much but now that i found nadine morabi which is this new designer um her price point is so much better but then again i do think the sleeper quality is probably better so i ordered the white one because i've been wanting the white one i didn't have them i have these and actually i have a white one but it doesn't have the it doesn't have the feathers so i thought you know what i want the white one with the feathers that would be so much more fun i feel like this would be perfect and also if i'm creating content um and things like that i just think these will like be perfect to um to wear i probably should hang them so that way they don't crease and could be ready so yeah i just think these are like perfect i'm gonna leave a link for the nadine morabi ones down below and also the set as well um you can check out the nadine morabi ones are like 150 and the sleeper ones are like 300 dollars. i think it's you know it's a bit much but then again it's really good quality so one thing that always happened to me for my birthday because i'm such a last minute person i never think about my birthday and then it would be like march 31st and then i'm like oh my birthday is actually tomorrow and then i'm like oh and i don't have anything to wear happens to me every year so this year i've decided you know what let me get a head start let me start thinking about what i want to wear for my birthday and then i started looking for like dresses online and then i found this you know brand nadine morabi which i was just talking about i'm sure a lot of you girls are familiar with nadine actually i found nadine to josh i don't know if you guys follow josh on tiktok i love josh like like he's amazing i love his personality i feel like we're just like friends in my head hi josh um for his or her christmas video she was showing an outfit and then she was wearing this gold leotard not leotard like a gold jumpsuit and i'm just like i need this asap not necessarily the jumpsuit but i wanted to know where he or she got that jumpsuit just so because i know whoever make that jumpsuit they're gonna have something else fire on the website and i was right because as soon as i got to the website i was just like oh my god how come i didn't know about nadine before like what is happening let's open this box so i can actually show you the dress my goodness this is called the every dress and it's in the pink and this is another thing that i plan on doing this year i want to wear more things that normally i wouldn't go for and pink is one of them you guys know i grew up with tomboy i used to always be in pants you know khaki shorts and that whole thing and i've hated pink my entire life and this year i'm just like you know what i am going to embrace pink um to make up for lost time i still don't like the color to be quite honest I still hate pink it's just like ugh. but um but this year like i said i am committed to doing things that i normally don't like like wearing pink and then i feel like this kind of pink because it's sparkly it is a pink that i can get away with look how it sparkles oh i love that the sun is reflecting my goodness can you imagine at nighttime me wearing this for my birthday and then it has the feathers on the bottom as you can see here look at this 
and then one side is longer than the other side this is a size me um small medium so there is extra small there's small and there's small medium so i read the comments based on the comments i just you know went for the size medium and it fits perfectly and also this dress is made if you have curves i don't have curves so i have just a little bit of material kind of like sitting around but if you have curves my goodness Maybe I need to get one of those bud pads. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Who at wear collection dress lunch. And I picked out some things. You guys know I gave up. Well, I sold a lot of my things. No, no, no. This is from H&M. Oh my goodness. I forgot to include this in the H&M haul. So I got this dress. It's kind of like a Shanae version of this dress from H&M. I wasn't sure yet if I wanted to actually keep this dress, but I think I like it. I feel like this is one of the dress where it doesn't hurt to have it around, although it makes me look like super like old lady vibe. And I feel like it, I can actually pop it on and wear it um, and wear this blazer on top of it. I feel like this is a look, you know? You never know if I'm invited to the White House. Um, I can actually wear this dress. This is like a knit dress with like the buttons as you can see the buttons is just like trending right now It's just the biggest thing. Um, this is from H&M Forgot to include it in the H&M haul which is actually going live today But from who I wear you guys know I love a knit set. I live for a knit set I just think they're like so chic so classy and also easy to style. You don't have to think about it I picked out this one again short sleeve is not something that I typically go for but again like I said this year I want to wear more things that normally I wouldn't wear and I feel like a short sleeve can actually give like a more modern take I feel like if this was long it would just be a little bit stuffy but I feel like because this is short sleeve like it's giving something and I picked this one from the Huat Wear collection this is a size medium because I like to account for the boobage area and i think i made the right decision by going with a medium although i think the small would have fit me but um this is the natalie cuffed knit top and i love that it's cuffed like you can see it's just that is such a nice detail i feel like it just add some kind of like texture to this because it's like a simple cream top of course i got the matching skirt in a size small which i think i may wear tonight to go to the event Sorry guys, this haul is going to be really, really long because I didn't realize I have quite a bit of stuff. This is um, also the Molly Knit Midi Skirt. I love this one. This one doesn't have like a slit or anything, but um, because of the nature of this skirt being kind of like a long pencil skirt, I'm going to be wearing my skim underneath. You know, we don't skim around here. You know, we're going to skim it all the way through. We stay skimming. Um, so... I think I may wear this tonight. I feel like this is such a vibe. And also from the Who White Red collection, I also picked out this dress. And let me show it to you. This is called the Evelyn Seamed Midi Dress. And this is a color that I don't really have in my wardrobe. I don't even know what, what do you call this color. Okay, let's see what the color name is. Fawn, okay. I don't really have anything like this. Again, I love the detail. This is giving me like Jacques Mousse. Remember the Jacques Mousse did a collaboration with that blue dress? With the blue um, sweater dress. This is kind of like remind me. This is, you know, reminiscent of that to me a little bit. I don't know why, maybe it's the line and everything. I just think, you know, this is the kind of like sweater dress that I want. Something that has like this kind of top to it and i just think this is going to fit me so perfectly i just cannot wait to wear this so if you wanted some really nice knit pieces check out the new collection from what wear absolutely love this pieces i cannot wait oh guys and also for my hair if you want to have your hair looking like mine i just saw this one this is a tiktok made me buy this this is a massive shine wave artist from bedhead and i got this from amazon for like 30 bucks or something like that so yeah this is what i've been using in my hair that's been looking like this and i've just been loving it it's just been looking so cute like i love it i am obsessed no, no, hey no. guys and m m lafleur new york sent me some pieces which i cannot wait to show you although i don't really wear pieces for like work anymore but i still love like you know a good 
tailored piece I, I don't know tailored pieces or like in my bones maybe it's because I'm Haitian too because we wear a lot of tailored pieces like in Haiti we get a lot of our clothes made it's only like maybe like 20 years after I was born like people started wearing like clothes that are already made but it's really big in Haiti to just have clothes tailored for you so that's why people are always wearing suits so a lot of things are tailored so I still love that so they sent me um, a couple of pieces and oh my goodness denim I've been wanting some denim like this this is a hockey pant oh my goodness this is so cool by skipping the dry cleaner for five years you'll save nine hundred sixty dollars hmm pretty cool actually this looks really really good I think I got a size four this looks really really good so this is a hockey pant and I feel like this is just so perfect yeah this is amazing oh wow I cannot wait to style this okay so this is the hockey pants and then let's see what else oh some colored pencils that's so cute my niece Abigail is going to enjoy my goodness oh look at this beautiful silk top again I wanted like a beautiful silk top like this sometimes I feel like I have all this high weight high waist pants or wide leg pants but I don't have any silky top to kind of like wear with them if I want to just go to like a nice event and I don't want to wear a dress I want to wear like pants and I feel like sometimes I am stuck for um, I don't have like any things and this is a size small and this is big actually this is a little I mean it looks big but I feel like once I put it on it's just going to look perfect oh my goodness I love this this is a silk jersey gray, um, gray sweater um i love it typically i don't really go for gray because i don't think it does anything for my skin tone but i think this is like a really really nice one and i love that it's kind of like almost off the shoulder oh this is going to be so cute i love this okay this is some m Leffler. so guys if you are you know going back to the office and then you've been thinking about some pieces i think these are great pieces i love the pants i love that you can dress them up and dress them out dress them down you can you know easily wear them for like casual friday if you wanted to and also you can wear them on a monday pop on a nice blazer you are good to go i feel like you can even pop it with that beautiful blouse it's just going to give it that really really nice dressy polished look now on to the most unexpected piece that you did not expect for me to show you are these boots from flattered these are called the luna boots and look how well they are made this is not something that I would ever wear like in the past or I would say over the last couple of years it's not something that I picked up because I would think they look too trendy they're not for me but like I said something in me has been changing this year I want to like have more fun with fashion I don't want it to be too serious you know um so I went for these these are called the lunar boots in the top color I think they also call in the black color I'm usually a size 6, always size up when it comes to boots. I went for a size 37. They are like so comfortable. I actually wore them yesterday. I popped them on. As soon as I popped them on, I was so obsessed. I feel like this kind of like replaces your winter or kind of like rain boots. You know, rain boots, I hate rain boots so much because they were like so unsexy. Like I don't think they're like attractive at all. That's why even when it's raining, I still wear my regular shoes. Um, but since finding these i'm just like all you have to do is wear like some cashmere socks like i just shown you and then you are good to go with these like my goodness these are just so comfortable they're so stylish like i got so many compliments even my uber driver was just like where are you from like he thought i was like parisian or something i don't know people always think that i have a parisian style um which is good because that's kind of like my style that's the vibe that i want to give up so i actually like when um other people pick up on that yeah augustine bader again this girls <clears throat> the material girls have me out here spending a lot of money on augustine's bader first it started with the rich cream and after using it i was just like hmm, i guess i kind of see the hype it's actually really good and then i decided to try the cleansing balm if you guys don't know i am a sucker for cleansing balm I feel like I've tried so many and I'm actually working on a review for you guys where I tell you about all my favorite ones or like the best ones 
which ones that are worth spending your money on. So I went for the Augustinus Bader also because I wanted to try it. I feel like all the material girls, they love using this one and I was just like, oh hell yeah. I need to be about this life as well. And, um, and then it comes with the cloth, as you can see here on top of it, the packaging is like super cute. And then on the bottom over here, you actually have the cleansing balm. And I love this blue packaging. I'm not even a blue person, but for some reason, this blue is just so sexy. It reminds me of like grease a little bit. So I love a good cleansing balm to like take off my makeup after a long day. And then I also got the, the cleansing gel because I love a good cleansing gel. Um, that is one thing that I feel like I don't receive enough from brands or I typically, would I say I don't like the one that I typically get? It's one of the things that I find myself buying a lot, I would say. It's cleansing gel. And then of course I thought, you know what, why not try the um, this one from Augustinus Bader as well. This is the Avic, the TFC8, whatever that thing is. I actually need to look up into it to see what makes it so good. So I cannot wait to do it. Again, I love this kind of like rose gold top. And for my lovely friend at Mizenzia, I got the Eau de Gingembre perfume. When I went at the store uh, for Christmas time, like I could, the, I was asking the girls like, which one is your favorite? And then they were like, oh, the gingembre. And I was just like, ginger? I'm just like, I hope I like it. You know, like, you know, when you ask someone what's their favorite thing and then now you're kind of like stuck, you're like, oh, what if I don't like it? What do I say? Uh, obviously, I want to say I hate it, but, um, but then again, I smelled it. That's when I know. When I went to that store, it gave me confirmation on why I love Mizenzier. I love Mizenzier before, but after experiencing the store, and I'm just like, ah, I see. Literally every perfume is a hit. Not one, everything is a hit. So as soon as I spray this one, I was just like, oh my God, like, mm, this is amazing. And I feel like this is perfect. If I now, if I would recommend one to start with, most of the girls that love like lighter scents, this is the one for you. It's the Eau de Jajam. This one smells amazing. And one thing to note about Mizenzier, everything that have a silver top, it's more, has cooler notes. And everything that has gold is warmer. Typically, I'm a gold person. I love like warm scent, but this is the first one. And I'm just like, I am obsessed. So I got some candles. This is the Lila Noir. This one smells amazing. So that's one, a new one that I discovered at the store that I really, really love. And then <clears throat> my other favorite is a ginger uh, rose. Is it the same as the, um, the perfume? I think it is the same as the perfume. This one is Eau de Gingham and this is a Gingham uh, rose, the rose ginger. This is probably my favorite um, scent from them. This stuff is absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. If there's one that I can recommend, it's actually the ginger mousse. I feel like all the girls would love it. Like if you look kind of like floral, um, and I feel like even, even if you don't like flows like myself, me, I'm not a flow girl at all. Like I said, I am more of a masculine kind of like girl. I love like a mask. I love smelling like a man, but I just feel like when a girl's wearing men's perfume, it actually changes. Like I don't know, it does like the sexiness to it. But then again, now that I realize men don't want their women smelling like them, they want their women smelling feminine. I mean, it's up to your preference, honestly. But I um, think this haul has been dragging. I still have some more stuff to show you guys, but I will do that in another haul. Thank you again so much for sticking with me. I hope you didn't lose your attention. Um, but yeah, thanks again so much for watching. Do like this video. Do let me know what you will be checking out. Do let me know what was your favorite thing from this haul. Um, I have so much more coming for you guys. Thank you again so, so much for watching. I will catch you in my next one. Bye-bye.